Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Tuesday the 2nd of June. We begin our time together with our opening prayer. Let's pray. Almighty and all-loving God, we come together in the name of the living Christ to confess our faith, to acknowledge your goodness, to celebrate your love and to commit our lives afresh to your service. Greatly you have blessed us. Joyfully, we worship you. We praise you for this opportunity to worship you, this time set aside, this place of fellowship, where we share something of your love. And above all, we praise you for the assurance we have that as we meet together, albeit remotely, you are here among us. Greatly you have blessed us. Joyfully we worship you. We praise you for your great love that has searched us out and enriched our lives, and for the care that constantly surrounds us through joy and sorrow, through hope and fear, through light and through darkness. Greatly you have blessed us. Joyfully we worship you. We praise you for your sovereign power, your hand that has shaped the universe, your purpose that directs history, your grace that transforms lives, and your spirit who sustains the church. Greatly you have blessed us. Joyfully we worship you. You have made us glad in so many ways, your love beyond anything we could possibly deserve, your mercy inexhaustible, and your care for us never failing. Greatly you have blessed us. Joyfully we worship you. So now we bring you this time of worship, not so that we might withdraw from the world, but that we might serve it more efficiently in your name. Not so that we may escape from the daily routine of our lives, but that we may consecrate every moment and everything we have to you. Greatly you have blessed us. Joyfully we worship you. Almighty and all-loving God, receive our praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Romans chapter 5 Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us.
Psalm 18 I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me, the torrents of destruction overwhelmed me, the cords of the grave coiled around me, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called to the Lord, I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice, my cry came before him into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him, the dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning he routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed, and the foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I am not guilty of turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. I have been blameless before him and have kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. To the faithful you show yourself faithful. To the blameless you show yourself blameless. To the pure you show yourself pure. But to the devious you show yourself shrewd. You save the humble but bring low those whose eyes are haughty. You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. With your help I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. As for God, His way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in Him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You make your saving help my shield, and your right hand sustains me. Your help has made me great. You provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way. I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. 
You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. You made my enemies turn their backs in flight, and I destroyed my foes. They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I beat them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trampled them like mud in the streets. You have delivered me from the attacks of the people. You have made me the head of nations. People I did not know now serve me. Foreigners cower before me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. They all lose heart. They come trembling from their strongholds. The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. Exalted be God my Saviour. He is the God who avenges me, who subdues nations under me, who saves me from my enemies. You exalted me above my foes. From a violent man you rescued me. Therefore, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing the praises of your name. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing love to his anointed, to David, and to his descendants forever. Our closing prayer for today is all about being still. And therefore we will have short times of silence during our prayers. Let's pray together. Lord of all, you are a God of power, mighty and mysterious, and we thank you for that truth, for the knowledge that you are sovereign over all. But we also thank you that you are a God of peace, a God whom we can meet in stillness and in silence, and who speaks in a voice like a gentle whisper. Draw near to us in the quietness, and may we hear your voice. Teach us to make time and space for you, the opportunity to pause and to ponder, to take stock of our lives to reflect on your goodness and to understand what it is that you would say to us. Draw near to us in the quietness and may we hear your voice. Help us to be aware of your presence among us and through meeting with you at this time. May we live each day, each moment, in the knowledge that you are always by our side. Teach us to share every moment with you, confident that you are there and that you care about our welfare. Draw near to us in the quietness and may we hear your voice. Teach us to bring our prayers to you, not just today, but every day, to speak freely, to speak openly, and to speak spontaneously of what is in our hearts knowing that you delight to hear us. And teach us also to listen humbly, reverently, attentively, eagerly, certain that you will respond to our cry and that in your own time you will give us your answer. Draw near to us in the quietness and may we hear your voice. Help us to use all times such as this 
so that we may grow closer to you. And so that prayer may not be some occasional activity, still less some formal duty, but a joyful relationship and a constant experience of your renewing love deep within. Draw near to us in the quietness and may we hear your voice. Lords of all, we have come in the quietness. Go with us now into the turmoil of life, with all its noise and confusion, and its demands and responsibilities. May your peace rest with us there, this day and forevermore. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.